welcome to this analysis on GBP USD for the coming week of September 29th to October 4th, 2013. Uh, a quick uh, recap of what happened in the past week. We had projected that GBP USD will be going down in the past week of September, you know, that ended on the 27th. But it failed to you know do exactly as we had project as we had projected all right so it wasn't uh too good for us but um with what has happened uh, we gotten some new information on the pair gbp usd so we the market recorded a lower high and a, a higher low uh, for the week that just ended against an ultimate week now we see this as a bullish continuation pattern all right so there is a bullish continuation pattern uh, from what eventually happened last week so as a result making a projection for the coming week of september 29th to the 4th of october we will be seeing further bullish movement on the gbp usd all right so and also we will just look for a few confirmations Looking at this chart, you can see what I mean. There's bullish con continuation coming. Uh, but then, from our report on the COT, from our COT report uh, from GBP, uh, we have on the long non commercial uh, contracts, we have increased long positions uh, with positive change of 6,612, uh, you know compared to that of September 17th and the short positions dropped to 49,562 and that has a negative change of minus 872 uh, with a positive for a positive opening threat of 21,984 so given what we have here uh, there is um, strong indication of a bullish continuation in the coming week of September 29th to October 4th also if we look at the side of the commercial traders you will see here that the commercial traders also increased their long positions although uh, it's not as much as the increase in the number of short positions so given this we will be strongly bullishly biased in the coming week also there is another thing we can look at if we look at also for the US dollar index all right uh, report uh, from the TFF report we see here also that the dealer intermediary long positions have increased here you know it's 10,000 we have 10,868 and the for long while short is 9,756 and the changes we have for long minus 426 and for short minus 20,770 which is a massive uh, decline all right from the previous week okay so based on that and the opening trace on this is minus 17,000 pardon me minus 15,163 and this is not good at all for the US dollar so uh, this really is signaling a very strongly bearish dollar week as we move into the coming week based on this future situation from the US dollar index uh, TFF reports. Okay, so based on that, we are strongly bullishly biased in the coming week. Now, let's quickly look at the uh, key levels. Now, from here, we are going to look at the floor pivots uh, compared with the Camarilla and Woodies as well as uh, Fibonacci replacements just for last week okay now if you look at this you see that at the floor pivot points we have 1.6081 and uh the woody's pivot point central pivot also shows at 1.6096 while the camarilla buy level is at 1.6087 now what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring in my Fibonacci retracement and see where i can find the area i can find the confidence now already there is a confluence between 
6096 to all the way to 6081. How about uh, uh, this Fibonacci replacements? Let's quickly check that. And I'm going to be switching on to four hours. And on four hours, and on four hours, here is what we have. So I'm going to be running with uh, the analysis based on the rise from here to here. Just you know what happened last week. That's what I focus on because. Uh, from the way things are last next this coming week may not be too trending it may not be trending very well it may still uh, repeat you know what has happened this very week although although you know it's going to be a very big busy week on the u.s side because we'll be uh, expecting the job data from the u.s and also some fomc reports uh, you know based on the economic calendar uh, so that we might still expect at the beginning of the week some sluggish movements, all right. If what happened in the past week is anything to go by, however, uh, buy level, I'll be looking for just uh, two entry positions, and I'm going to be focusing more on the buying. Although it's going to come down, it's going to come down very likely. And as it comes down, I'll be looking forward to making an entry. Look at 38 percent recruitment is around 1.6075, which is close to. You know the levels you have pointed out here: C081, C096, and C087. So I'll be projecting for buying at 1.6075 and 50% resistance at 1.6052. So these two levels are very key for me in the coming week, and that may just be the one trade we'll be looking for to. And for the Fibonacci expansion, we'll be expecting that if and when uh, it picks up from there it will be first testing Fibonacci expansion level at one point uh, that's the 1.6170 so that is well over uh, that's around them um, 90 pips move and then after which if we now work with the projection from here that's a penultimate week to here uh, we are still going to be uh, working with it also because it's still the level there are still valid. So around the same around 1.6058 is uh, still key. That's an 8.2 replacement on that. Okay, on the expansion, Fibonacci expansion also the uh, the Fibonacci expansion there is going to be giving us something. You know, we can actually work with. Let's see. All right. Okay, so on that, let me remove this first. I already have seen the target for that, so let me remove this so that I can uh, see more clearly. Okay, so we are we having Fibonacci expansion at 1.6195 based on the activities of the last two weeks. So the highest in record here. Yeah. So by the time an entry is made anywhere around 1.6058 once it's a buy is made around there projection for tp should be first at 617 uh, and then also 1.6195 before any then a little retracement before any further move to the 6235 levels because uh, on based on the monthly time frame we also will be expecting some you know Fibonacci in action here based on what has happened in the month of september so far so uh, we will be very likely expecting price to also go ahead to test uh, the level at 1.62 uh, let's see 1.6242 uh, based on what has happened in the month of September so far. So here are the key levels we're watching. But in this week we are going into our focus will be mainly to enter around 1.6058, 6070, 60, um, 
81687 anywhere around that area and we'll be projecting to 617761 7077619 levels and possibly if the uh, key data job data from us don't do too well then we might see price hitting 1.6162 before it retraces again well that is our position this week now if i want to integrate trend lines still of course i can also uh, let me return this back to this week just following what has happened in the past week so i can pick my trend lines for next week okay so following the trend line here the just that is of the, the past week of course the trend line we can link up here and link up here all right so we have something of you know something like this drawn so uh, with this we are good to go bullish so here is slander strong confidence area okay so we will be strongly bullish around here 6075 okay and 6052 yeah. all right so i am wishing you a very wonderful and highly profitable trading week as you follow this guide thank you and god bless you